Hey, this is Melissa DeVitri with DI Design Studio in Detroit, Michigan. I'm a social media strategist that improves brand visibility for businesses by generating awareness um, through social media campaigns, advertisement, developing a buzz, listening, you name it. Um, I like to just take the reins by the handle and just go for it. Research, put in the work, and create a phenomenal social media presence for any type of business in any industry. I treat it as it's my own business, which I take extremely seriously. So I know what it's like to let someone just manage your brand for you and do the marketing. You really need to trust them. So I've created these social media tutorials to show business owners that there are different tools for scheduling, uh, finding content, social listening, and kind of staying in the trends. So I'm going to run through a social media listening program that I came across. I'm in a trial period of this right now, and I highly recommend that you give some type of social media listening program an opportunity because it's a way for you to see what people are saying about your brand, um, understand uh, you know, what you should be saying, whether, it's, whether they're discussing negative, positive, or neutral comments. You should um, be available to them in, in real time because people are expecting that instant gratification for customer service, whether it's retail or restaurant or any, or any type of business. So let's jump into it. Uh, the social media tutorial that I'm going to run through today is a listening program. It's called Mention. Uh, and I was really excited because I connected with the CEO. His name is Matt. And he's a great person. I mean, he really cares about what he's built here. And he uh, is definitely taking it to a whole nother level by letting me know that he appreciates that I'm I'm, I'm involved. So I, I kind of want to walk through the basics. What, what you can do is you can sign up, web.mention.com. You can in, activate the free trial. What this is going to do is create an alert for you. So one of my recent blog posts is how to create a Google alert so that you can get daily di digest. This is creating a social media alert um, about, you know, basically anything. So I'm going to go with a competitive market. I would like to do Pepsi. I'm I'm in love with with Pepsi. I, I am a Pepsi drinker. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to use them as a brand. So you know they already populated all that information in there as the priority pages. And this is well let's go let's go back one. The the priority pages mean that this is the company website. This is their Twitter profile and this is their Facebook page. As you type this information in here it'll automatically populate that page for you. Next step. So the sources. So where do you want the alert to find those these mentions? Twitter, news, blog, video, all of it. We don't have a team, so we can click that notification off. View results. And so now we just need to allow it time to populate. So can you see this number growing over here on the side? So while that's... Um, growing. I'd like to create another alert so that we can compare the two. Let's say competitor. Let's say Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola company, let's do just Coca-Cola because it's just like PepsiCo. Let's just do, let's just stick with the, you know, the one. So again, it, it's populating all the information in there. Coca-Cola. Let's, let's just do Coca-Cola. No company. Coca Cola. I'm not sure if I did this with Pepsi, but that's all right. Again, sources, voila. English, unless you have another language that you prefer. And let's let the machine do the work. I love that. Okay, let's go check out Pepsi because this is populating right now. So you click on the mention. Uh, let's, you know, you can, you can add an Instagram account here. I don't have the access key to get into the Instagram, so we'll have to skip that. So what I've just done is I've, I've uh, clicked on the different sources that you can filter by. Facebook, Twitter. Uh, let's start with Facebook. Hashtag Pepsi. Drink the real Pepsi with Captain. Um, yeah, same thing. 
Uh, see, <clears throat> this is an opportunity to do some major crisis management when people write things like this. I'm no longer buying Pepsi products. <laughs> The commercial is horrible. This is an opportunity for someone just to be like clicking in and saying, you know, we're sorry that you experienced uh, whatever, a bad vibe from our commercial. We'd like to make it better by making you happy with a Pepsi gift certificate or something. I don't know. Something, a funny gift or a Mimi or something to make them happy because they take it out. They take it out on social media and, and people uh, – just kind of just take it out of context. So can someone tell me why I can no longer find Diet Sierra Mist anymore? Again, that's to Pepsi. This would be on them to go in and respond, you know, actively re responding to them. So Bruce Lee won. I'm assuming this is, oh, we just clicked it. So hopefully it'll open here. Coming at you live with inside of Pepsi Spire. So it looks like this is one of the commercials. So what it's doing is it's basically just collecting um, different things here. So the looks like the machines are doing well. Uh, people are saying that Pepsi could knock it out of the park because this person's diabetic and all right, very nice. I like it. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go on over to the competitor. Coca-Cola. Let's click on Coca-Cola and see what's going on. Coca-Cola drops support of Republican. So this looks like it's a pretty hot topic right now. Drop support of Republican National Convention. This looks like what a lot of people are talking about. Again, another opportunity to reach out to these people if you wanted to and kind of just follow up. Don't just give like a blanket response, but like, you know, some people could really influence your brand by saying something and then you leave it without notice. They'll just keep coming back and keep coming back. So why I wanted to show you the this social media listening tool is because you could add your brand to this tool and your competitor's brand. And if someone is unhappy with your competitor's brand, you can just slide right in there and kind of just, you know, work the business. I can give you an example. I order custom hoodies from a screen printer that I've been using online. And, uh, you know, business was great. Everything was cool. But the hoodies that I got, the design was positioned one inch underneath the where the seat the the collar is so the design was like right here and I positioned the design to be like down here that's where I put it on the artboard and I sent them pictures like hey uh, I just want you to know that I'm having an issue with my my hoodie it came back in, in the not the space that I wanted and I tried calling their, that wasn't an email. And then I tried calling their customer service three times. I was disconnected and each whole time was 30 minutes or longer. So I went to social media and I was like, hey, I'm trying to reach you guys. Um, I had a problem with my design. I really need to get this situated. I have an art show coming up in a couple of days and I was going to use these hoodies as my selling point. And uh, they didn't write back on the first day. Instead, I got two competitors that slid right in and said, hey, I saw that you're having experience with ABC company, whatever it is. We want to make it right and bring you over to, to our business, and we are willing to offer you a promo code of $70 off your first order. I was like, wow, way to, way to reach out to me in like two hours that I posted a tweet and try to get me to come over to you. That's awesome. That's great social listening. However, the brand did write me back the next day. Hey, we're experiencing high call volumes. I was like, yeah, I know. I was hung up three times. <laughs> Can you just give me a call when, you know, it's convenient for you? So I direct messaged them my cell phone number, and they didn't call me back the, that day. They called me back two days later. I still don't have my hoodies situated, and we are at a week. But, you know, that is why it's important to listen to what people are saying because I will probably not use that company ever again. I've been – I've submitted more than $700 worth of hoodies and apparel to them and I'm, I'm, they're 
they're not going to get my business. <laughs> it's just like if I can't get customer service and I'm like a repeating customer, that's not good. So what you can do with listening is you can take those avenues on seeing what people are saying about your competitors if it's you know a product in the same type of industry or whatever have you and uh, reach out to them the way that these competitors did and say, you know, hey, we're sorry you're experiencing this. Come on over to us. We'll give you a promo code. Like, that's fantastic. And you responded to me in real time. And they gave me an email of someone I can contact to walk me through the process. I was very happy. Um, so, you know, with mention, you can do the same types of, of things with, with your brand. And, you know, at the end of the day or the week or the month, Let's pull some of those statistics, like what was working and, you know, let's check this out. So the average mention that it's pulled so far is 3,000. And since it's my first time pulling it, that's why those numbers are so high, that percentage. So let's see a little bit what these numbers are. So 2,000 mentions today. I'm sure there's more than that. It's Pepsi. Unread, you can go through all of these and basically go through and click favorite. Da, 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 da. You can move them, delete them, or you know, etc. And um, you know, that's a way that you can delegate to your team. There's a team feature here that you can tag um, other team members to the tweet so that they can respond. So I can add a team here and say, Hey, I need you to go here, click, 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 tag. Maybe they're professionals in customer service and, or they have a list of criteria that they can and can't say and they need to respond to it. So, you know, again, don't miss out on opportunities that can be beneficial to your brand, especially with social media when it's constantly changing, it's adapting and it's evolving into so much that you want to make sure you can communicate to your audience before you get burnt out that you're like, I, I don't know how to use this tool. I you know, I'm not sure what I'm doing. There's going to be another tool that's coming out the next day. So it's important to stay trending, stay hip, and I'm here to help you do so. So visit me on my blog, melissadevitri.com or at Missy DI on social media. If you have a tool or a software or you have something that you want me to show you a little bit about, I'm happy to make the tutorial for you so that you can become a better social media strategist. All right, have a good one and until next time.